These are my two cats, Krishax and Gracie. Aren't they so cute? This video will focus on Gracie, however, because she is the only one who likes to sleep a lot. What can I say? She's a cat who likes to snooze. Rewind to a few months ago, I bought an old RCA Victor TV shelf from a local estate sale for $10. For a while, I didn't know what to do with it, but then it hit me. I should make it into one of those cat beds I see people making all the time. And then in that moment, I knew it was time to get to work. There are three essential steps to creating a TV cat bed. Number one, you want pillows and blankets. You know, do you want to look like a old Victorian house or do you want to look modern and white and gray? Lighting. Do you want it to be RGB, or do you just want some, you know, incandescent bulbs in there? Probably not, because it could catch on fire. But you know, you know, some nice soft lighting, or do you want it to be really punchy? And three, aesthetic. This kind of goes back to pillows and blankets. Do you want it to look old, Victorian? Do you want it to look like it's from the 50s, you know, like if they released a TV cat bed in the 50s? Or do you want it to look like, just match your house, whatever you, furniture you have around? First, I went around the TV cabinet and started measuring things. I would recommend cleaning it before you do this because, you know, you're gonna have to get inside of it. However, I cleaned it mine when I got it, I just didn't really know what to do with it at first. So, I would definitely recommend cleaning it. But then after that, I started measuring it just to find the dimensions, and I found this poster board would actually work perfect for a back piece. It was a little too small width-wise, but it doesn't really matter because the pillows should just block the gaps on the side. These were my fabric options. I chose a nice leopard pattern for the floor and a nice red for the walls. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be deluxe. We got to work sewing together the bottom pillow and as you can see, we just turn it inside out and voila, you can't even tell that it's stitched. We did the same thing with the red fabric. As you can see, I glued the backing onto the poster board with some tacky glue and after sewing the pillows together and fluffing them up, we just glued some velcro to them just so that we could hang them inside of the TV tray and be able to take them out and clean them, you know, when the cats get hair on them. We hammered in the backing. It's looking good in here now, and I think my past self says it best. It's very snazzy in here. The light I decided to use was a moonlight that I got from someone as a gift. I think it works very nice in here because usually I wouldn't really have anywhere to put it, but, you know, since it has all the different colors and stuff, you know, RGB, and it just runs off USB, I thought it would be a great fit. As you could see, it was a pain installing this wire, like, organizer thing for, like, attaching it to walls, but it was totally worth it. And this is the final product. What do you think? I think it looks very nice. It's not necessarily themed after any house in particular, like any era, it doesn't necessarily match with anything in my house, but I wouldn't say it sticks out, and I think it just looks like a nice, cozy place for the cats to sleep. Mostly greasy though. And I just did this relatively recently. I printed out this piece of cardboard and then just printed out this like mock like control thing for the control board that's supposed to be there. I'm not going to keep it there, but I think it's kind of funny to, as like a placeholder, although obviously it kind of ruins the thing because it's just like, oh wow, it's a nice cat bed, and then piece of cardboard with a poorly printed picture on it. And so with that, I'm Zoom System 3. This has been my first project on the second channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.